Welcome back. Welcome back. Your man, Dami K, in here. Dami K in the morning on the all-new radio on fire.com. Here on the program, we deliver the biggest political and trending news stories of the day with interviews and original reporting from across the country emanating from our studios in Baltimore and Atlanta. The show is fun. The show is upbeat. But I also want to expose what is really happening in this country. Uh, Happy Monday to everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Great weekend. Uh, Radio on Fire is Black Voices giving you the American story. So uh, clearly I have a lot to say. (laughs) and uh, uh, I have no problem saying it. Uh, New episodes of the program, weekdays, 8 a.m., I don't want you to miss any of our live broadcasts. In addition to our 8 a.m. program, we drop content throughout the day uh, as news happens. So hit that notification bell so you get an alert whenever we go live. Um, You know, I read uh, something online. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll read things. and, And it may be a person venting. And it will just speak to you it'll just it'll just speak to you and so uh that happened i read something online and it it really spoke to me so it was on facebook and and when i say that it spoke to me um you know sometimes you'll do things not intentionally not not intentionally uh and 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 you know, it, it can have a negative effect, positive effect. Uh, and, and like I said, so this this thing, this thing spoke to me. And um, in it, it, it was a DJ, a DJ talking about, I guess he was venting his frustrations. And uh, I'm going to read it a little bit later. And uh, it, it was in regards to. Uh, partially in regards to the uh, documentary that recently hit Netflix called Dark City Beneath the Beat. And that is uh, really spearheaded by T.T. the Artist. And um, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Nikki's in the building. Nikki, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, So, um... You know, we're going to talk about Dark City Beneath the Beat on Netflix now. It is uh, it is streaming on Netflix, so folks can can check that out. Uh, did you, before we talk about um, more specifically, did you hear about this documentary before I brought it to your attention? Before you were, no, I didn't okay. hear about it before you brought it to my attention. Okay. Um, like were they advertisements that I saw for it or something? Yeah, like that? yeah. I mean, that's my that yeah. That's that's yeah. my question. No. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, and so, um, uh, if you are wondering, uh, we're talking about um, <laughs> Dark City Beneath the Beat, and this is a documentary uh, coming. Uh, like I said, coming from TT the artist, that this is something that has been uh, in the works for a while. Something that she has been trying to get going for a while, and I'm glad that folks are finally getting a chance to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad about that. Uh, so, um, if you uh, the thing is, is that you don't even remember uh, going to uh, the Gold Room studio uh, when we were working on a song that is featured in the film. So you don't even remember. I, I guess I didn't even tell you what was happening. Just like, look, we're going to this studio, you know, over here. And uh, I mean, I didn't even know what was going on. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. I knew that they were working on a documentary. And this is a couple years ago. And uh, I knew I knew what was I, I knew what they were trying to do. Uh, of course, you don't know the exact vision. 
you don't know how and and if things are going to actually materialize. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a lot of times people say, "I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this, I'm gonna try to do that," and you don't know right. whether it's gonna happen or not. Uh, and so um, Mighty Mark reached out to me, uh, pretty much one of the main producers uh, musically. Uh, on the soundtrack and um, working with TTD artists. So he reached out to me and, um, you know, they wanted to uh, talk at least some point about uh, Big Tony, Miss Tony, uh, who many people know, you know, I worked with and uh, produced for and uh, Tony was on my label. Uh so uh, they wanted, you know, they wanted to incorporate some stuff from Tony or talk about Tony or, you know, stuff like that. And um, so they reached out to me and, um, you know, I was, you know, happy to oblige. And, and it, a lot of people may feel a certain way as uh, as far as whether I'm accessible or or uh, willing to collaborate. Uh, I am. Uh, but a lot of times people don't reach out to me. Sometimes people do, and and, and sometimes they don't. Uh, I remember that Vice uh, reached out to me once uh, about a documentary they were doing, and and um, we weren't able to work things out. Uh, I mean, so different folks have reached out to me over time, and, and other times, I mean, um, uh, HBO reached out with the the story of uh, Henrietta Lacks, the uh, Oprah Winfrey produced uh, uh, bio piece uh and we were able to work things out so it just just depends you know it it just depends um but uh anyway they reached out we went over there do you do you remember going to no i did absolutely i i just didn't you didn't you didn't connect at all yeah in between it had been a what it had been a minute yeah yeah so yes i do remember that it's coming all back yeah so we went over there do you remember meeting ttd artist yes i do she was nice she was sweet yeah yeah so she's nice talented um yeah, really cool. Uh, and so anyway, this documentary hits Netflix, uh, which is an accomplishment in itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's an accomplishment in itself. Uh, so I'm super happy for her. I'm happy for a lot of things. Uh, before we even get into the meat and potatoes of it, I want to talk about the things that I'm really happy about. I'm happy about the light that she has shined on baltimore yeah baltimore's music scene Mm -hmm. baltimore itself i'm just i'm happy for her now uh we're going to get to some of the criticisms that people have Mm -hmm. she is not originally from baltimore Mm -hmm. okay and you know so some people are gonna have uh, a feeling about that uh the fact that she is not originally from here I myself don't have a problem with that. Uh, it's it's just so crazy that uh, she's doing things on a on a very elevated level, a very um, high level, and getting exposure for the city. Mm-hmm. And then some people are, some people are, are, are talking out the side of their neck like she ain't from here. How she go? She ain't, she ain't represent you know that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. These are people who are really feeling a certain kind of way because they're not in the film. Oh. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. I mean, and um, so she she uh, addressed some of this energy. I'm going to I'm going to read what she said, Uh, but some people are coming are coming at like that now. So here's the thing. Is this the story of Baltimore club music? No, it's not. But she's not the person to tell that story. She could tell right. any story she wants to tell. True. It's her film. Yeah. Right? So you can't, you know, DJ Hater, whoever DJ Hater is, you know, <laughs> DJ Hater can't tell her how to tell the story she wants to tell. DJ Hater needs to tell his own story. <laughs> yes. DJ Hater needs to tell his own story. <laughs> but, D, you know, and DJ Hater, you know, probably going to use his iPhone and 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 of course, people are gonna laugh. DJ Hater out the now. You can do some amazing things with your iPhone. Let me say that. But DJ Hater don't know that. DJ Hater wants to just sit around and talk about what other people are doing. 
while he or she, all right, probably a he, uh, is doing nothing. So, so, um, I just I don't understand where the hate comes from. Like you could do everybody has 24 hours in a day. You could do your own thing. You don't have to sit around and hate on somebody else. True that. Right? I don't hate on people. I sit around and talk about people, but I'm not hating. Okay. <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm okay. doing a show here, okay? okay. Doing a show here. It's just very opinionated. I'm very opinionated. Just yeah. tuning in, Dami K the warning on the all new radio on fire.com uh here on the program. Uh we like to have adult conversations. Talk about breaking news, covering topics that are important to the black culture. Visit RadioOnFire.com for our original radio podcast and TV programs. You want to support Don McKay in the morning? Very easy to do that. You can do that via Cash Apps, dollar sign DJ Don McKay, or on PayPal.me slash Radio on Fire. Don McKay in the morning is powered by the people, and we need and appreciate your support. So, like I said, I'm opinionated, but I'm not. I'm not hating. Now, if I don't like something, that doesn't mean I'm hating. But <laughs> DJ Hater, DJ Hater is just saying, "Look, you know, she ain't took. You know, what I mean, it, 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 right?" And you'll talk about the good stuff too. Now, yeah, but not DJ Hater doesn't. Ah, I said you. Right. Yeah, I will. Right. Now, if I don't like something, I'll talk about the good and I'll talk about the bad. Right. Okay. Uh, and so I knew what this was going in. Now. Did it benefit from some, this is a story about Baltimore club music? Yeah, it did. But here's the thing. It never said this is going to be a historical uh, um, record of the history of club music. Right. 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 And you have rappers that will do their documentaries, right? It'd be about them, right? Mm-hmm. It's a documentary about hip hop and I'm a rap artist, da 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 da. You know, some wherever they're from. And people don't say, oh wait, they ain't they ain't about hip hop. They, they ain't they ain't the history of hip hop. They ain't talk about cool herc and, and, and the fantastic five and the furious five and the funky four plus one more. And if they they don't say that, you know what I mean? If if uh, you know any any rapper does does a documentary, what, what's the rapper that's married or, or got a baby with one of the Jenners? Not uh, uh, Kardashian, Jenner, what? Not oh, Kanye, God. the other rapper, Travis Scott. Yes, Travis Scott could do a documentary, tell his story, his life, whatever. Some throw some producers on there, some people he rock with, talk about how he came up, and put it out and say this is you know this rapper's putting a documentary out about hip hop, he's shining light on hip hop. They're not gonna hold him to say you know you didn't talk about when LL made Rock the Bells. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not gonna right. do that. Right. But DJ Hater. Uh oh. DJ Hayes is going to say, wait, wait, wait. No, no, fam. You know what I mean? Uh, Travis Scott ain't from New York. And yeah, I mean, whatever. Go, go ahead with that. Right. So that's the kind of energy that is out there. Okay. So anyway, the uh, documentary came out, was released on Netflix uh, a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, you watched it all the way through? Yes, I did. And as did I. Uh, what what were your thoughts about it? Like, what did, what did you think about Dark City beneath the beat? Well, first of all, to see that it was a a, a story about Baltimore, I was super excited. Mm-hmm. Baltimore club music, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's my era and my music all day. So I was mm-hmm. excited to see it. Um, so I, awesome music, mm-hmm. awesome music. Um. Awesome dancing because I'm a dancer, so that was I was awesome to see. Um, and it was very colorful, and I used the word colorful because it had um vibrant images of Baltimore City, like mm-hmm. we live, and it was real, they had real images, real mm-hmm. people, sure. real places. Um, so I could relate to it, so I was really into it. I was really into it. Um, and yeah, I was I was really into. I I, I liked it. I I'm, I liked it. I liked it. Well, most of it I liked. <laughs> Overall, I thought that it was well done. Um, and the soundtrack is um awesome. So mm. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I um as did I. I, I thought that uh, it was really nice how it uh 
hopped between dancing uh, and artistry production. Um, and so I, I saw what they were trying to do. And, um, you know, whenever you talk about Baltimore, you cannot uh, is, escape uh, the violence, I suppose, and the image that people have of the city for whatever reason, good or bad. You know what I mean? Sure. Good or bad. Sure. And um, so she tried to incorporate some of that yeah. in it. Definitely. And um, I thought that that was interesting. And interesting. I mean, you can't get away from it, right? You, you can't get away from it. And and so much of club music uh, is connected to that kind of energy. A lot of times in the club, a fight would, would break out. Songs came from that energy. A lot of right. times, just that aggressive energy. Music comes from that. Music comes from pain. So, uh, and, and I thought that, uh, I, I actually would have liked to have seen more of her. I, well, that's true. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I would have, I don't think that she fully told her story. I think that she was very generous with the way she executed. She could have got a lot more camera time, but she shared her camera time, uh, and gave us a lot of different things. She definitely did. She definitely did. Now, uh, let me say this. Mm -hmm. The project that I'm working on. Right. I'm not going to be as generous as she was <laughs> with her camera time with other people. I'm just going to say that off, off rip. It's going to be about you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, she, she, um, she's a very talented, she's very talented. And uh, I like that um to me she paid homage to stuff she paid homage did you want it she um wanted to nod her head to k swift which she did yes she did she named her company uh used k swift's uh moniker uh club queen and uh she paid homage and she stated that uh i like that yeah and uh, I respected that. Now, because she doesn't look at DJ Hater as a as a, as a motivating factor <laughs> for her directly, uh, you know that may cause DJ Hater some anguish. Mm. And uh, you know uh, he he wants to say stuff about it. Um, but like I said, there's a there's been a lot of negative energy. About this, and 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 I'm wondering: Is it because she's a lady? Is it because some people wanted to be in it that were not in it? Like, mm -hmm. where does where does the negative energy come from? I think you hit the was it the nail on the head when you said a, a lot of people that felt like they should have been in it, like it's not validated. They probably feel like because they weren't in it, like she didn't talk to me, mm -hmm. so this is really isn't about Baltimore club music because you know she didn't talk to me or. So and so wasn't in it, or is this really about you know uh, Baltimore club music? So it's not validated. I I think they feel mm -hmm. because some of the elements they would have liked to have seen, um, like themselves, were not in it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah, which is unfortunate because again I enjoyed it. Like yeah. I I mean you know I, I could dance to it, rock to it. I also liked that it was like jazzy club sometimes. You know what I mean? The elements of the mu of the of the songs. Yeah. Um. It, it was a mixture. Like in the beginning, you thought it was gonna go one way, but she, <laughs> it always looped back around and looped club music into the song. Like I love. I mean, it took you. The music really took you on a ride. I like it. I really like that part. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I agree. I agree. And and so um, like I said, there's there's been this kind of energy, uh, and T T the artist posted something and um uh bj dj bj the chosen one um shared it and um i'm going to actually read it um but your haters be your motivator yes you know yeah 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 hey mm -hmm. that, that how it goes okay yeah. so um said this 
Uh, so this is uh, TT the artist uh, addressing some of the negative energy or, or, or some of the criticism mm -hmm. that uh, that she was getting. And it says this. Uh, this is TT the artist. The film was never meant to tell the history and evolution of Baltimore club music. This film is an audio visual experience that highlights some of the culture that inspired me as well as showcasing the creative culture in Baltimore while addressing the social and political climate the city has faced within the backdrop of Black America. Each scene is curated and creatives, but Baltimore-based artists, singers, rappers, and poets. I am from Florida, but Baltimore became my home at the age of 18. I love all feedback. Overall, it's very positive. There were many OGs who were contacted, but never responded back to my emails. Again, the film was never about telling the full history of club culture and anybody interested in that I'm sorry, any, anyone interested in doing that, I hope this film inspires others to pick up a camera and create their own films. So uh, that is, again, from TT the Artist, and she's responding to some of the uh, some of the feedback that uh, that she has gotten from people that uh, probably probably feel that she was going to tell a, a different story than she told. But again, she can tell a story that she wants to tell. And uh, I, I, I like what she did. Now, is this going to be the last documentary about or inspired by uh, Baltimore club music? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And there, there are plenty of people who have their own story to tell. And I encourage you to do it. It takes a lot of courage. To put yourself out there. For people to. Criticize you. For people to. Uh, you know. Review your work. It takes a, it takes a lot to do that. Uh, it, take, it takes a lot. Everybody is not built for this. You got to have thick skin. In order to do this. Uh, so Nikki. What, what did you think about. Um, I don't know how much of, of her uh, reaction did you hear, but what did you think about what she said? No, I think that that was, um, I'm so proud of her. I want to say that because her reaction was so, um, it was so classy. It was so mature um, from what I heard. Yeah. You know, because I mean, it could have really, she could have really went in, um, but she nicely said, um, you know, it, it wasn't a documentary and if you would like to paint your own story, you can. And, um, I just think that she handled that very maturely because I've seen some responses go all the way left to negativity. Um, and I just, I like the way she handled it. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, it is, um, like I said, it is not easy. It is not easy to put yourself out there for others to critique you, yeah, critique sure. your work, yeah. critique your thoughts. Uh, it took her many years to put this together. Mm -hmm. um, it was shown at the uh, very, very online um, South by Southwest because the pandemic was going on. So um, it was shown online there. Uh, okay. And uh, she's been working on this for quite some time. And the stick to it ness mm -hmm. that is required to do something like that yeah uh is 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 difficult it's difficult so I, I definitely want people to go uh to Netflix and check this out uh, a lot of uh people that I respect are in it and um uh, really are you in it? Uh, you know, <laughs> my face is not in it. I my think. my my voice is in it. I, I definitely, oh, I guess I alluded to it earlier. 
Uh, I did a commentary in the movie about Miss Tony. Well done. It was well done. And folks also got to hear a bit of an exclusive um, song that um, myself and uh, Mighty Mark put together uh, in the in the film. So I, I mean, you know, I I, uh, I think that Miss Tony would be proud of her, proud of uh, of what was done. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. And kudos to you, sir. Who, me? Yes, you did an awesome job. The narration, the song, the song is fire, y'all. The song is fire. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, if some, some may have thought that it was going to tell the story of some of the pioneers, uh, and it did not, if, if that's what you were looking for, it didn't give you that. But... It wasn't supposed to give you that. Uh, it was not supposed to give you that. Um, so I just uh, uh, want to shout out everybody that had something to do with it. Um, and so um, directed by TT the Artist mm -hmm. and um, uh, Issa Rae uh, was executive producer. She had uh, a lot to do with it. And uh, definitely, uh, once again, uh, did she chronicle every record that ever came out of Baltimore? No, and it's not her job to do that. No. Uh, we have to tell our own story. Right. We have to tell our own story. And because um, if she had tried to tell other people's story, they'd have been like, oh, she ain't tell it right. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. And I know how difficult it is. You reach out to somebody. They may not see your vision. And then they didn't hit her back, right? Right. So she kept it moving as she should. Right. And the folks who didn't believe in what she was doing, they didn't have to be a part of her project. They right. can do their own project, and that's fine. We need more projects about Baltimore, not less. Right. We need more. Um, there's not going to be one project that's going to tell the whole story exactly. Every you know every 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 bit of it. Uh, I saw a lot of folks on there. Like I said, that I. Um, uh, know and respect um and uh, i saw uh benny sticks james nasty um six cents i saw mumbles uh dj nasty uh big nasty scotty b lady mysterious dj tig i saw uh of course mighty mark and tt and plenty and plenty other folks in there and this is this is just another step in the you know <clears throat> the whole story right. it's just an, this is just another step in that direction so it is uh it, it is a big it is a big deal and, and it's something to be excited about some of the dancing was amazing oh it was some of the dancing was amazing and like you said and like she said it was it it was a meant to be a visual experience and that's exactly what it was <laughs> visual it. yeah and she said a visual yeah a visual I like that a visual experience yeah uh well well said and uh and well done yes well said and well done uh so do you recommend this for people to watch do you recommend dark city beneath the beat for people to watch absolutely and i recommend you watch it i mean you know due to covid social distancing but and this know, was shot pre-covid invite some uh no i'm saying okay. invite some friends over a group mm -hmm. oh if you love club music you guys will be in there dance i mean dancing here yeah, break a sweat yeah dancing so yeah. i say um yeah absolutely it's a it's a group watch <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack they got a soundtrack that is out there i definitely recommend that soundtrack is very good and um uh, what I really, really, really am impressed with is its quality. It was yeah. shot well. It was well done. It was Absolutely. it was shot well. The soundtrack um, is produced well. Sonically, it is good. It is quality. It, it's it's quality work, Absolutely. and um, is. that is something that Baltimore can definitely be proud of. Uh, and, and so uh, I also want to say, uh, just tuning in, Diamond King in the morning on the all new RadioOnFire.com. We are talking about uh, the 
documentary, Dark City Beneath the Beat, which is available on Netflix. You can uh, you can see that on Netflix and I encourage people to stream it. So I was speaking earlier about something that touched me on Facebook. Right. Right. Did, did you remember I said that? Yes. Yeah. And so uh, and it's it's here, here it is. OK. And I've said this before, but sometimes you need that reminder to really connect with you. Like, look, you know, you, you need a reminder because you're human, right? Mm-hmm. You're human. Right, right. Uh, when it comes to things from Baltimore, mm-hmm. movies from Baltimore, web series from Baltimore, businesses from Baltimore, uh, artists from Baltimore, it is imperative the the what separates Baltimore from some of these cities that's had their big moment like Houston or Atlanta or New York or Compton or LA or uh, places that have had their run in hip hop is the support of the city itself. True. Mm-hmm. And Baltimore has long, has long uh, suffered from this. Mm. Everybody wants to put the city on the map. City's already on the map. So because because, uh, uh, everybody wants to put the city on the map, a lot of times there is this uh, uh, rivalry Mm -hmm. and this lack of support from each other. Like the artists don't always support each other. And and you're not going to ever have anybody always support everything. Uh, Mm -hmm. But my point is, is that we need more support and everybody can do their part. Right. Mm -hmm. So but it's just like voting, just like voting. You know how people say, look, we only see this is the the constituents. We only see you when it's time to get your vote. Right. (laughs) Right. right. They'll say that to them. okay? Mm -hmm. but it's two. It's a two way street. You own. You have to also hold that politician accountable on the off season of election Mm -hmm. you have to do your homework and check and see what they doing right is a two-way street Mm -hmm. and so when artists say oh we ain't getting no support right Mm -hmm. it's a two-way street you also have to try to promote to those people uh, in your city you can't just take for granted that oh they're not going to support me so i ain't going to say nothing or they should just know automatically know that my project is out mm-hmm. without you promoting it. Right. Right. And so I am going to do more to elevate and promote things from Baltimore because I, you know, I, I could do better with that myself. You know, I'm not, I'm not above criticism. I'm, I'm saying that I can do better too. Okay. You know what I mean? I can do better too. Me and, too. Huh? I said me too. Yeah. And, and and really, that's one of the reasons why I started the Baltimore Music Awards. Mm. Because I said that there are so many talented artists mm-hmm. that sure. folks don't maybe have access to or know about. Mm-hmm. So I want to bring recognition to these artists and hopefully I can get new fans Um. You know, I mean, get new fans to some of these great artists. Right. So that is, um, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to find the post uh, about, you know, the post that really uh, spoke to me. And it was DJ Boo Man put the post up and um he was just talking about the fact that people should be celebrating uh, this release and not, you know, not being negative about it. Yeah, that's true. There and, was not. It was nothing negative that should have been said. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's not like they painted Baltimore in a bad light. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could see if she came. Light or yeah, she said something that wasn't true yeah. or an act. You know, yeah. like, I don't. I don't understand what was negative about it. 
I can see if she threw Baltimore under the bus. Right. Which so many other uh, yeah. films, movies, yeah. documentaries, whatever it yeah. is, do. And um, it, I mean, wasn't, did the it wi- wasn't even about Did the that. wire throw us under the bus? I mean, Ooh, did it? <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was it was so positive. Like it was it was nothing but but light. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I described it as very colorful and vibrant. Because it was all positive. I don't understand. Um everyone was in there was was happy and um you know telling stories about growing up in Baltimore. We had a flashback of the paradox, you know, it was <laughs> like I mean all good vibes. Yeah. So I don't understand how anyone could have said anything um negative because again it was it was all light, you know, so but it, people will always have something negative to say about anything. Yeah. You know. All right. So here I, I've uh, found the post. So uh, this spoke to me. So DJ Boo Man uh, said this, and uh, on Facebook, uh, Grant Boo Man Burley is his name. So anyway, but DJ Boo Man, he also has a uh, a um, you know, an, an artist page as well. So he says DJ Boo Man Lab Tech One Jimmy Jones landed a major deal for Baltimore Club Music. Record a full club music album. Amount of support in the city, maybe 10%. DJ Boo Man does an official Baltimore Club remix for Diddy. Amount of support from DJ's radio in the city, 5%. Uh, Sean Banks assembles Baltimore, Baltimore Boys production team. A team of club producers... Secure a major bag for all of the producers, including myself, and we work on material for the likes of Janet Jackson. Support from music community, almost zero. Mm. I could go on, but do you see the pattern? Dark City Beneath the Beat should be celebrated, especially if you are or were ever involved in club music. Mm. We have to change the negative culture of the city. It's a new day. Sure. Sure. Uh, so yeah, so that spoke to me. Um, and um, well, I, let me first let me say this. I think that his numbers are off. I think that more people supported uh, those projects than he realized. But the point is taken that the support is not where it should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are a lot of people that can that can say that support should be more. And if if that is the media, which I am a part of, or if that is the artist, which I'm also a part of, uh, or, and the people. But here's the thing. You can't make the people like something. Uh, and so, well, let me rephrase that. You can make people like something. Uh, but the tastemakers have to be involved to make sure. them, you know, to make them like it. Right. And yes, the tastemakers in the city can support more. Um, they definitely can. And I think that because a lot of the tastemakers are artists, sometimes they don't want to, you know, uh, play another. I mean, it, it shouldn't be like that. Right. I, I produced a record once. Uh, and so this is uh, maybe 2003. And I remember taking it to Reggie Reg, RIP Reggie Reg. So Reggie Reg was at 92Q at the time. The record was hot. Right. And so I'm talking on the record. It's not my song, but I'm I'm talking on the record like a DJ Khaled kind of talking. Right. And I I left my vocals on the record. So I talked I talked on the record like I'm a DJ playing the song and it's like on a mixtape. But I took it to a couple of DJs for them to play to try to get a feel of whether we should, you know, whether we had a, a hot record or not. And Reggie told me, the record's hot. Love the record. I want the record without your talking in it, right? Other DJs are not going to play it if you're talking on it, like in in the way that you're talking on it. And um, I didn't agree with him. And then later on, Khaled comes out and makes songs that are released, and he's talking in the same fashion, saying his name, and other DJs are forced to play it because they they were hit songs. Now, DJs, you know, sometimes you'll have an R&B song and maybe the format will want it without the rap. And sometimes we'll take give them 
with rap without the rap and with the talking without the talking and you can do all of that but what i didn't like is and i and i told reggie this i don't think that it's you can play another dj's production like i think that it kind of stems from that well this dj talking if they say his name i want people to think you know what i mean just if the song is hot just play the song i don't even think now that's even a factor as much uh, because people can listen to stuff online and the whole experience of music is different. It's not like everybody's going out buying a mixtape like they used to. You know what I'm saying? How do you get your music? Like, How do you determine what you're going to listen to? Um, I am uh, a partial radio chick. And I say partial because I'll hear it on the radio first. Okay. You still you still uh, live by that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said partial. Nothing wrong and with that. And then I'll go stream it, which leads to to other songs and then other projects. By so how, how do you feel about playlists? Oh, I love playlists. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I mean, that's what I look at. Um, I, I when I'm streaming music, that is exactly where I go to. I actually very seldom go to a, one particular artist. Mm. Um, I go to playlists mainly because it exposes me to music that you wouldn't normally I wouldn't have heard. It right. So that's that's know, why right, I like playlists. Right. Um, I, I like playlists yeah. as well. I like yeah. I like play playlists as well. Uh, right. Diamond K in the morning uh, is available on the WRF Radio app. You can simply download WRF Radio from your app store, and uh, they have a lot of they have a lot of uh, interesting shows over there. I definitely encourage you to check them out. WRF Radio and um, Diamond K in the morning also available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher. Uh, we are out there anywhere that you can get podcasts. Just search Diamond K in the morning. Of course, visit radioonfire.com. Uh, and so, uh, playlists, like you were saying, I love playlists mm -hmm. and it, it really exposes you to a lot of different things. To me, the playlist is almost like the new mixtape, right? And you're just going to hear different stuff. And, and uh, you're doing something around your house, you put on a playlist and you just let it play, mm -hmm. and then other songs just come on. You don't have to keep going back to your device and, and trying to change it up right you know what i mean uh and so so that's what it is this is a new a new time new era but wh whatever city if you're in baltimore whatever city that you are in you're from support your local your local artists support your local businesses support local like that is super important it is super important don't think that just because something is from your hometown wherever your hometown may be that it's not up to par that it's not good because that's not true right it's not true. You don't do it with food. You support your you support your local food food business, right? <laughs> support all the businesses. Yeah. Support that local clothing store, that shop, their website, whatever it is, and support your artists. And artists don't be too big to support each other. That's so true. It's because not for everybody. Yes, you cannot expect. You cannot expect the fans to support you artists if you artists don't support each other great you're gonna say to them oh y'all need to support us oh we don't support each other but y'all need to support us mm -hmm. that what, what kind of what part of the game is that what part of the game is that um definitely uh, i will be back here tomorrow 8 a.m thank you nikki as you're always welcome. how can you're people welcome. stay in touch with you if you want to put yourself out there i don't know if you want to or not <laughs> Um, I'm on Instagram, Nikki S617 on Instagram. Okay. And yeah, I, I do Instagram. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, as I said, you can support the program, Diamond K in the morning, uh, via Cash App. It's dollar sign DJ Diamond K or PayPal.me slash radio on fire. You need to get in touch with me, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com or visit radio on fire. And, um, Talking about support before we go, I know we're against the clock. I have always supported entrepreneurship and independent businesses. And here on the program, we are really going to be making a concerted effort to highlight businesses. And I want you, if you have a business or you know someone with a business, uh, hit me up on Instagram at the Diamond K Show, DM me, send me the link to the businesses Instagram. We're going to be highlighting 
businesses on the show. And just with this pandemic, it is really important to continue to get your business in front of people. So uh, I encourage you, if you know a business, uh, it may be a nail, nail salon you go to or, or barbershop or a, a restaurant, anything, a boutique, a boutique. And uh, if they are popping and we need to know about it, uh, DM me at the Diamond K show. Send me that business's uh, social media info so we can start promoting some of these businesses. It is really, uh, really critical that we continue to support, promote, highlight, uh, and patronize these small businesses. Any last words, Nikki, before we get out of here? Um, No. Have okay. A, have a good morning. Good okay. day, everybody. Thank you. All right. We will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.